So for today, we're going to be looking at these seasonal challenges for week eight. If you guys don't know, we already completed the story. It was in week seven, so no story anymore. But we're going to be doing these seasonal challenges plus 801. And then we're going to be looking at Eververse. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. We really do appreciate it. Other than that, better have complete the exotic mission star crossed on legend difficulty. Depending on if you have friends or not, this might be annoying. That being said, Starcross is not a hard mission at all. It's probably one of the easiest exotic missions I've ever played in the game. So Legend Difficulty actually might not even be that hard. Nest Egg, complete the Coil activity and access the Chamber of Wishes. Um, I, I don't know what this means. Chamber of Wishes? Um, is that like the, the end of it? Like the end because if that's the case then it's not going to be hard uh ritual ornament acquire any ornament for the season seasonal ritual weapon uh i'll probably just do pvp pvp for me is probably the fastest one without me getting bored because crucible again like i said i can i can do that one real fast uh vanguard makes me sleep like legitimately so i can't get the seasonal ritual for that one unless it's double um double points and then Gambit, I mean, I don't, have to, I don't have to explain Gambit. That being said, this week we do have double points for Gambit. So if you are feeling kind of risque, then yeah, you can do that one. Taking all, cha cha uh, taking all challenges, complete weekly playlist challenges. Not hard. You can literally do the three for the playlists and any other challenges. Really not that hard. Uh, life dispersion. Defeat targets with solar stasis or strand subclass equipped in Gambit. Oof. Bonus progress is granted for ability final blows and final blows against guardians. So depending what class you are, solar will probably be the best one just because you can get your abilities back real fast. Specifically Titans, you have your hammer. I know it got nerfed, but you still get it back. Uh, Hunters, we have uh, what's it called? Um, Caliban's hand. I think that one's really, really good. And Warlocks, I think. You guys have an arm that, or specifically, uh, Claws of Ahamkara gives you double uh, melee, so you can do that. Grenades as well. Or you can use the, um, what is it, Sun, Sun, Sunspot? Not Sunspot, I'm stupid. Um, the arms that have the fire that once you get a melee, you can throw grenades. That one. You can use that one. Either way, this one's not hard. Uh, kinetic forces comp uh, get final blows with kinetic weapons. Bonus progress for defeating Guardian. This one's not hard either. Like You can literally use kinetic for everything. And then complete crucible matches and competitive playlists. So here is the one that I don't dread, but I don't like to do just because I don't really care for the competitive playlist. Um, if it had any like better rewards, I probably would give a shit, but I don't really care about the weapons considering most of the time Bungie's too afraid to make something really good in, in PvP just because of the previous like weapons that we had in the past specifically like uh i don't know god i forget these guns and i used them so much back in the day hold on let me see it is recluse is it called god it should be correct yeah the recluse and then for the grenade launcher my god mountaintop i'm gonna be real i miss this time in destiny it was so much fun like this was such a time to be alive and I feel bad for people who were not here for it because it was just immensely fun. So that's pretty much it for the challenges for ever or not ever for 801. We have Mitrified Duality. I love this shader. This is such a dub of a shader just because when you combine it with certain armor pieces, it looks really, really cool. And then the glow is purple, which is such a good purple. This is like one of my favorite shaders. Uh, New Pacifica Rush. This is wow. Didn't, didn't they sell this last week? Um, this is not a bad shader. It's from Titan. I'm personally not like a fan of it, but I know some people have made some cool sets with it. And Dead Orbit's Fate. This is the original one from Vanilla Destiny 2. It's a pretty good black and white shader, but definitely not as good as like the ones from D1 at least. As for the armor sets, they're all right here. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think you should pick all of them up just because they're really good for fallen themed sets. Hunter specifically, I love the helmet, the cloak, the arms, and even the boots to a certain extent. I think the chest piece is the weakest part. That being said, I think the cloak is also pretty weak when it comes to shadering, but I still really like how it looks. Uh, Titans, I'm going to be real with you. i do not not a big fan of all of it. Um, I think the helmet's pretty cool. It's just the fact that it's uneven. Uh, it's asymmetrical, which is something that really bugs me. But 
I would still recommend to pick them up just because you might never know when you might make some cool sets and then you're like, oh, I'm making a Fallen theme set and I want to make something cool with it. And then Warlocks, I think all of it's really cool. Like, um, I think the Bond is super dope. I think the chest piece is really cool. I think the helmet can be, can be used as well. And the boots and the arms are kind of boring, but at the same time, like I would still recommend them. So let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from Ada. Like I said, I would just pick it all up just because, because A, legendary shards are going away. So you might as well just start buying a bunch of shit. But if you don't get it, don't feel bad. You can definitely get this in the future because she does sell this quite a bit. As for Eververse, I feel kind of vindicated because the shader, or let's look at this one, Apostomatism. Yeah, it's an orange. I, like, I hate it and I love it because I love the green that's paired with it. And if, if I can find an armor set that has the green more than the orange, I think this would be really cool. So Luminous Void, let me just buy it right now. It's funny because uh, I knew this shader was going to go on sale. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I'm going to be real with you. I think it looks, it's too gaudy. Like, it definitely gives off like, please look at me. Please look at me. And I just, I don't know. Like, it definitely looks cool. Let me just get that out the way. It looks cool. It's just, it's gaudy. And that's, that's really it. Uh, Pyramid Entrance. We have a corporate sponsorship for Sweet Business, which I'm going to be real. I don't really care for this. Um... It's not even the color. I think the color is super dope. It's just that like it doesn't change it enough for me to be like, whoa, like that doesn't look like sweet business. Like, yeah, this does look like sweet business. I don't know, um, which isn't even fair because I know they've changed a few things. I think that like the barrels are different. I think this is different, but I don't know. It just doesn't wow me. Um, we have Dawn of Invention. Cool. <clears throat> and then Shiro's Watch. Eh, not a big fan of it. Um, kind of looks kind of boring. Not gonna lie. I think the the season pass ornament for this, when it, because this was a season exotic or seasonal exotic, uh, I think the season pass ornament looks way better. Uh, Omen of Saturn, shining cabroilet, cabroilet, uh, convertible shell. Time's ticking. I kind of want this just because it'll look, it'll, it'll be a good thumbnail uh, emote. Simon says. Whatever. Uh, phosphine stimulus. Meh. Uh, swirling entrance or swirling leaf entrance. Didn't they sell this one last week as well? Tiger effects. And then for the shaders, Boreal Char, they, they definitely sold this last week. But I definitely would recommend this shader just because it is really, really good. It's a really good green. The only annoyance I have is that they have like a light, like a really, really light, light green for the off color, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, what is it? Copper tone patina. I like this shader. I just would never wear it, but I do like it. Uh, vibrant Medusa, which I've made a really cool set with the Titans. Uh, if I have the thumbnail, I'll have it up right now. It's a, it's a video for, um, that one stone helmet. Cause one of my clanmates asked for it and I still hate them for it. Uh, Metro Metropolitan Acoustics. This is the Buzz Lightyear shader. So if you want to look like Buzz Lightyear, this is the shader you're looking for. So that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think uh, about the stuff that is being sold. I'm going to be real with you guys. I am a uh... dude. Last week was a fucking rough week for me. Um, My cat is like missing and I did not take it well. So I do apologize that if I wasn't commenting or just making content that you guys want, it's just uh, last week was really rough. Um, Thankfully, it's kind of like my emotions are kind of stable now. Like, it still hurts, but I mean, I'm not breaking down randomly when I walk. But yeah, last week was pretty rough. I'm going to have some content for you guys. A lot of content, actually, because uh, I think it's still being sold. Let me see real quick. Yeah, so this is still being sold. I am going to be making a video, a review of a review of this and then the shader video. And then when it comes to the class specific videos, I'm going to condense it into one video for all the classes, just because this is so like, this is so pinpoint with its theme that it kind of 
I don't want to make a whole set with all of these because they're all just going to be Vex themed. So what I'm going to do is, um, okay, okay, cool, I guess. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm basically going to make uh, three armor sets for each of the classes, like my best Vex themed sets, and I already have them made. I think they are really, really cool. And I'm just going to go over like which armor sets you can use to make some Vex themed sets because we do have... I think what two or th well three we have three vex theme sets and one of them is like an original armor set and then the other one is a reskin of the original armor skin it's a, it's a whole ordeal that i'm gonna get into in that video but that one i think i'm just gonna make an individual because that way we can uh i can just show you instead of like me making armor sets and whatnot not only that we're gonna go through exotics that have ornaments like specifically uh vex ornaments because I also think that's important. So my game crashed, but I don't know. I probably won't even play because I haven't been playing. That's the other thing I probably should mention is the fact that like I've been playing World of Warcraft like like a stupid amount, like realistically. <laughs> and then I've also been playing a bit of Final Fantasy 14, but mostly it's been wow just because uh, Destiny 2 has been burning me out. Um, there's just really nothing to do right now. And it's no fault to Destiny 2. Well, it is kind of their fault because, you know, if they're gonna make a season this long, they should definitely like pack it much more. Not to be fair, we're not even done with like the base timeline of this season. I mean, it's just the fact that like I, I know it's gonna be a long season. Therefore, like I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't want to do this. So I've been yammering for long enough. Let me know what you guys think. I, again, I will have content for you guys, uh, specifically the armor set for season of the undying not only that the seasonal ornament for this season and then the seasonal armor that you get from the activity that one i'm going to be doing this week and then the ornament i'll probably do once the worm guard which is what the seasonal activity armor is called once we're done with the worm guard stuff then we'll get into the seasonal ornament and then after that i'll probably start working on exotics again that being said i probably will post exotics i like i said i have a lot of content to go through and after we're done with that, I'll probably start my second channel again because I haven't been working on it because I've been so busy with this channel. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.